wow. We've got a very large chocolate croissant to share because we That's didn't really have breakfast this morning. <laughs> Thank you. Lovely. Thanks. Bye. That was 2.50 Bulgarian low, which is about £1.25 for a huge croissant. She said it's got chocolate in it, so I really hope it does. Um, so yeah, let's go get our skis and snowboard, which we've left at the um, higher place. And they charge us like £20 for a few days to do that, better than carrying it around. Day, so it's much better. You can actually see what we're doing by like getting all foggied up and that. Yeah. Amber's having a better day. I'm having a better day as well, to be fair. I just better conditions. Yeah, I just kept falling over yesterday and bad posture, so worked on what we need to. Um, yeah, so we're just going to hit some slopes, maybe go to a cute little cafe on the mountain um, for some lunch and take in the views, rest our legs. I took a bit of a tumble on that one. I look refreshed though, innit? Woo!
We met a cool dude today um, on the mountain, didn't we? <laughs> cool dude. <laughs> He's wearing a really funky onesie like me. Um, there's another woman as well in like the same brand. It's called Osk. It's O-O-S-C and they do like really funky onesies if you're into stuff like that, really abstract. Um, you can go on the actual website or ASOS, um, which I think deliver worldwide anyway. Um, it, and people in the UK do love ASOS. You can order your ski attire and be very noticeable on the mountain when you lose your friends or your partners and they can spot you and come to you because you can't get them on the mountain. <laughs> Shout That's out cool. to Matthew if you're watching. Hi Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna head down to Daniel and Lisa's hotel, sneak in their spa and sauna again. Yeah. Uh, get a bit of grub grub. And then <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna order like three meals. No problem. And then we found this along our walk to the hotel. It's a compact bag and Daniel loves camping, so it's gonna be a little present for him. Yeah, that's Danny yeah, boy. So a little freebie on the route, walking through the woodlands, which is quite nice. Like, it's the one thing like we have enjoyed uh, being here as well. It's like the walks through the woods. It's a bit scary late at night. Um, oh, this is slowing down. Oh, yeah, I get a bit panicky because <laughs> it's so rural. You literally don't see anyone walking around, do you, at night? No. It's just us. It's not. It's not even late yet. It's around five. Five o'clock, but yeah, no, no one walks like on me and Ben around the whole complex. <laughs> Hello. Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you were talking. The end. Good morning. morning. Oh, another day in paradise. This beautiful place of Bulgaria. Today, we are actually going to do a different slope. Can I get a hip hip? Hooray. Hip hip. So more reds are open today and they're supposed to be quite long ones so we're going to take the gondola up to the top of the mountain to the highest point and ski down the reds and there's some more reds open we're not sure where they are but we'll have to look on the ski map and find out yes. where they are located it's exciting something different hopefully it's not icy because they've been working the snow cannons the last few days because the temperature has dropped and it has been snowing a little bit up higher so obviously they've grown a piece should be pretty nice because it did get icy, didn't it, last few days? A little bit, oh, a bit icy, man. Took some falls to the ground, pretty hefty falls. <laughs> well, we shall see you up there. just taking a different chairlift um, up like halfway up the mountain and there's a few more piece open not the whole of the um, ski resort then we're going to take the gondola in a little while and do some reds but they actually charged us was it 85 bulgarian lev yeah it was like double the amount of yesterday mm -hmm, which is like 42 pounds which is actually like the most expensive lift pass ever that we've come across <laughs> and that my brother and his girlfriend have ever come across so the prices aren't really making sense to be fair like 85 lev um is a lot for like not even the whole resort open um, but getting some yeah. slopes in <laughs> um, it's a lot clearer today and it's a lot less busy yeah. So it's positive. Oh my oh, God. When these lift things oh. stop, it's a bit nerve wracking, but <laughs> they bounce. Yeah. And it's it's not nice. <laughs> See if you don't like heights. <laughs> I know it's really stupid, but I actually hate heights. But get your stomach. 
you know, yeah. But it's all right when you're on the ground, but when you're in these lifts, it's a bit it's scary. We you enjoying <laughs> sanity, babes? Mm-hmm. Fucking radical, dude. Just want... Sorry, bro. <laughs> and some crazy slurs, bro. But yeah. Did. Come on, dude. Did. Yeah. Dudes and dudettes, we have a new scenery for you, man. Finally hit new slopes. We are hitting up the Yastrobet Express, Express up to a couple red long runs, and hopefully it will be fine. Yes. Um, <laughs> we nice. just took the gondola right up to the top of the mountain, and it takes 25 minutes and 25 minutes down because we thought there was some lift open. Apparently there was one, but we couldn't actually get to it because the T lift wasn't working. So we had to come all the way back down. So we've wasted an hour, had to go on a shuttle bus over to Yastrobets, which is like the same in Bor it's like in Borovets, but you have to get a bus there apparently. So I don't know if it's because some of the piece and lifts are closed. So this is because of the closure. Uh, not not all the piece are open, are they? No, it's like it's very chop and changey. Mm. Like you should be able to ski to all of these, but because they're not, you have to get a bus. But they're not great at explaining the information. Oh, I just took a hit to the face. Did you? <laughs> yeah. But um. Oh, the worst. Just, yeah. <laughs> Casualty. But yeah, so we'll show you when we're up there. Hopefully, this is going to be absolutely a made ball. red run all the way from the top to the bottom well like mid mountain and it was the nicest run we've done so far on the whole holiday hasn't it been yeah yeah it was really nice um because they've got the snow cannons on there are some <laughs> lumps and bumps you've got to be careful of them and not fall over but we just fell over once each so not oh, too bad <laughs> take pictures of runs they really don't look steep at all but trust me that is <laughs> so yeah we've got some nice vegetarian food that we're about to order so we haven't eaten all day since breakfast just tried to get as much skiing in didn't we <laughs> got a fair bit, we did we skied for like for like five and a half hours but then we spent an hour wasting time in a gondola going up and down <laughs>
it's our last final day in Borovets, Bulgaria. We don't know if to be happy or sad about that, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, we've managed to um, get a little bit more skiing in on the other slopes from yesterday. So we're just about to take the shuttle bus, it's a free shuttle bus, down to Gastrobets, where there's the two really long runs, um, as we mentioned yesterday, which are a bit more fluffy, are less icy, because we've had the snow cannons working and there's no kids and it's just really nice to glide down and because over there on the main bit it's like you have to dodge the obstacles don't yeah, you? Yeah, there's a lot, there's a, there's a, because it's not a lot open it's quite a beginner resort that they yeah. kind of like dominate the space which is fine, we don't mind. Yeah, but um... We've so. got Dan and Lisa with us today, <laughs> they are back in the game. Mm -hmm. So yeah, hopefully a good little last day skiing and then Our journey back to time. England. Daddy boy's got a burger lad. Go ahead, kid. Get that burger down your head, boy. <laughs> oh. It's an odd shape. It's an odd shape. That's that's a weird review for a burger, mate. No, no, no. Killed us both, right? <laughs> dangerous girl with her poles and her fucking skis. Well, I tried Sorry, to get on the um, cable cars and I slipped and I was like hanging on to it. My legs were in the air and it was still moving. I was getting dragged up on my side and I was whacking Ben with these poles in his face. Yeah, mate, but yeah. I, I didn't mean to do that, obviously. Well, we made it. We're safe. We're so oh, that could have gone very bad. That was funny. It was due to our skills and not advanced knowledge ski resort the thing recovered. is it ain't easy getting on and off cable cars is it it's the getting off i'm not a fan of getting off them getting on's all right you just sit down but getting off if you're yeah. a beginner it can be challenging like especially the tea lifts and you're gonna work. there's one at the top here and the seat's really low and i keep falling when i get off i literally can't do it yeah because she veers into all of us mate she's just wiping everyone <laughs> out I usually can, Dangerous but this lady. one I can't. I can't get off. See, I've had many crashes today on, on the lifts. <laughs>
Snapple vlog. <laughs> Snap. <laughs> We've just got our last run of the day, which is down a nice green um, piece that takes you all the way down to the gondola. And um, we've put our ski stuff back, snowboard stuff back, and make our way to the airport. That was a good two days, wasn't it? Yeah, we smashed it for two days. <laughs> Feeling it in the legs now, but. Oh, yeah. We made the most of it, mate. You try and stop us. You can't. Oh, yeah, everyone should try skiing or snowboarding. It's it's a fun activity that is meant for it's anyone. Amazing. <laughs> no matter what age as well, like kids, middle, grown ups, yeah, I've adults. Seen, I've seen some old people here yeah. smashing it. Like, keep yeah. you fit. Exactly. If you're old watching this, <laughs> go get a pair of skis, get on a mountain or a board. Yeah. And we'll see you up Family there. holiday, friends, so partner, that. everyone. Yeah. All right, let's get going. And then we've got a taxi come in and um, we've paid a hundred Bulgarian love, which is about 50 pounds. His name is Bobby. So it's Bobby Borovets transfers. Yeah. He's really reasonable. Um, I really need the toilet. That's why I'm jumping up and down. But yeah, we're going to have a shower down there and then head back home to Stansted Airport. <laughs> and before we go down to the sauna, I just want everyone to appreciate how cute Ben looks right now. Our little hamster Schmidt. Yeah. <laughs> um, and Boomer. Don't forget Boomer. That's Daniel and Lisa's little cat. Yeah. Some good food, man. I want some good food. Yeah, they're staying another week, uh, my brother and his girlfriend. So we're going to go and rescue their cat when we go in. But Ben's got to go through the loft and then down in to the house because she needs to be neutered because she's having, um, she's a, she's, what's it called? <laughs> she is we, we will horny. Say, horny. <laughs> they have a very horny cat. I will show you some clips of that. <laughs> uh, the cat's on heat. I do apologize for the word horny, but yeah, she's, um, she's like out out there right now for another cat in the neighborhood so <laughs> we're gonna go rescue her give her lots of cat treats and um yeah cuddles Cuddle. see you in england nanny june nana june can you say hello to the vlog what? say hello to all our amazing subscribers <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.